First, how appropriate on what's supposed to be a very rainy day later, we are talking about a very big wager on weather for the annual rain day in Waynesburg. This is a big anniversary year and part of the tradition is the rain day hat bet. I was asked by the mayor of Waynesburg to make that bet and if it rains, I owe them a hat. If it doesn't, they send one to me. But I hear the odds are kind of stacked against me. We want to welcome Waynesburg Mayor Brian Tanner, along with Athena Bowman with the Special Events Commission and local historian Glenn Toothman. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I probably should have checked the statistics before I made that bet because I realized, what is it, 115? Out of 144. Out of, it's range. Yes. <laughs> so chances are I'm going to lose. 80% chance. <laughs> so, uh, Athena, tell us how this all got started. Well, Rain Day got started back in the early 1800s when a local unknown farmer um, always mentioned to the local pharmacist that it rains on July 29th. Every year. Every year. So that inspired the pharmacist to keep an annual record and then as years went on, others took over um, with, you know, the record keeping and special events was created in 1979 to hold a street festival in Waynesburg. So here's the actual chart. So when did yes. the official record keeping begin? 1874. Wow. That is incredible. Um, Glenn, I understand, though, uh, there's a big 100th celebration this year, and that is because of something that happened in the early 1900s. Yes, Rain Day for Waynesburg um, has, a, you know, a dual personality. Okay. We want to celebrate a community event, but unfortunately, a hundred years ago in 1918, uh, over in France, our company K Boys from Greene County, 18 of them were killed all on July 29th as they uh, attempted to take a high ground at Grimpet's Woods mm -hmm. near a small town called Cormont, France. So we're celebrating, or let's say honoring, honoring that really. uh, particular event. And those, uh, those 18 young men are called the Rain Day Boys, and that is actually something you, you authored a book, co-authored a book about them. Yes, Candace Buchanan and I uh, we're both from the community. 16 years of research uh, allowed that book to happen. Mm -hmm. And wonderfully, uh, the Heinz History Center took excerpts from that wow. and published the Rain Day Boy article in their centennial edition. That's amazing. So talk about how this um, Rain Day celebration kind of has expanded and grown over the years. Well, uh, as far as the hat bit goes, in the uh, 1930s, we had a gentleman in town by the name of John Daly and he's the one that started the hat bets. And just to give you a little bit of ideas of who have had the bets with us I saw earlier. the list, it's impressive. Uh, Jack Dempsey, Bing Crosby, Bob Hope, and then some of the local individuals we had was Bob Prince, mm -hmm. Arnold Palmer, and of course, Mr. Rogers. That's amazing. And you even had Will Ferrell. Will yes. Ferrell, yes. Donald Trump before yes. he was president. Before he was president, yes. It's amazing. Okay, so here is my hat. This is my lovely KDKA hat, which I guess you probably most likely will be receiving. I'm hoping so, yes. <laughs> and this is my hat, this, should I yeah, win? You, you can look at it now. So that you but guys, you, win, you get it. You actually encourage or, or hope for rain. When most people have big events, they hope that it stays dry and that more people come out. How do you celebrate the rain on that day? In what different ways? Well, this year we are, since it's on a Sunday, we are having church service and then along with the 100th anniversary of the Rain Day Boys, and we have entertainment, entertainment all day long on the um, courthouse steps um, with food vendors, craft vendors, children's activities, petting zoo. Um, we have the headliner band this year's Ferris Bueller Revenge, and then we end the night with fireworks. So, Amazing. Yes. Well, and uh, Mayor, you were just telling me that right now, today, you guys will be stenciling. I thought this was yes. so neat. Tell us what you're doing. Uh, on the towns in front of our businesses on our main street near the courthouse, we uh, stencil the sidewalks with this spray that only becomes clear when it rains. So, That's so neat. Yeah. So you pull out the sprinklers if maybe it doesn't if rain, it right? Doesn't rain, yes. <laughs> right. Well, thank you guys for coming on. I am so excited to be part of that long list of celebrities and famous people uh, taking part in the hat bet. So here's my hat, and I'll be giving it to you shortly after oh, rain great. day on July 29th. Open to the public, anybody that wants to come, correct? Yes. Correct, yes. yes. Thank you all for joining us here this morning. And again, rain day in Waynesburg is July 29th. You can come celebrate at the rain day festival. That's from 10 until 10, rain or shine, but hopefully rain this year.